All right, Sissini, what do you have for us this morning? Well, are you tired today, maybe? Mm-hmm. Well, Tuesdays are rough for everybody. Yeah. Tuesdays are the worst. Maybe it's because you did too much yesterday. I there's think a, Tuesday's better. Well, there's a new trend that might help you out with that, and I'll explain. I mean, the taco trend's good. Like, tacos on a Tuesday, Taco that's Tuesday. always good. Well, there's but something that you're supposed to do on Mondays that could change your Tuesdays. Mondays are so long. Wow. Mondays are the worst, Worst. Too. There's a new trend that what's could change best? that. You know what's great? <laughs> Friday. <laughs> so what's the trend? All right, okay. so let's come out of the gate next week on a Monday. What are we supposed to do? It's called Bare Minimum Mondays. Okay? This is oh, all I over... Like this is all over TikTok, and the idea is for employees to prioritize themselves and their own mental health and their well-being over the demanding to-do list that we all feel when we get the Sunday scaries, Monday, yes. and then the Monday oh. comes, and you're just, like, stressed out about the week that you have, and it's kind of like taking it slow from being away from the office all weekend and not really jumping into your Mondays. It's called a bare minimum Monday. You still go to work. You still essentially well, well, work. Whose boss is going to be okay with it? <laughs> well, that's the thing. But, you you know, maybe it, a lot of this is for people that are, like, self-employed, but maybe some bosses are okay with this. I was kind of going through TikTok and seeing what some examples were yeah. for, like, the bare minimum Mondays. And so let's just say this is an example of one. You would wake up. Uh, if you work from home, for example, you would wake up, maybe spend some time journaling. Uh, one woman talked about the creative hour that she gave herself right before lunch. Okay, this is not reality. <laughs> Wait a minute. And then <laughs> she works on maybe some home tasks. And then after lunch, that's when she got into her work life. Yeah, and Hocus Pocus, you're fired. Well, yeah. no, but it seems I, to work for like... some people. It's the bare minimum Monday. Okay, so all right, here we go. Just, just play this out with me. It's a bare minimum Monday. Here on our show. Here's what it would be the first hour. Ready? Sup. <laughs> Sup. Sup. Well, it's bare minimum. Yeah. Today Indeed. on the show. No, no, we didn't even talk about the show. Oh, no? I just feel like nodding to you. Oh, okay. Well, we I don't think you something. really get what bare minimum Monday is. Okay. I think a bare minimum Monday for <laughs> tell, us would just be that. like we would just have to like repeat Friday show or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, we could come in. in and we could yeah. journal. It's we could like tidy, heard it. tidy up the studio. You know. Okay. All right. Uh, that sounds. It sounds like this is a bunch of hocus pocus. That's what I'm telling. Maybe it's a step forward in the whole four day work week <laughs> direction. I'm down, but it's not reality. Like mm. no one's getting away with that on a Monday. I'm telling not you. Not if you have a job. This is reality. This is the way. The world is starting to go. For people that work from home, it is. no microcosm. Yeah, but in no microcosm of working for a company, does that work? I think it will one day. I think it's shifting. Once you propose it to iHeart and see how that goes (laughs) on a bare minimum Monday, brought to you by California Closets. (laughs)